So this is a static equilibrium problem. Again, this guy is not moving. We are trying to see the three forces that are working on them and trying to balance them out. There are three forces. You've got the tension of the rope here on the right side. So this rope right here. You've got this rope right here. And then what's the third force? Gravity is the third force right here, that 1,500 pounds. So it says a tight rope rocker is located at a certain point, deflects the rope as is indicated in the figure, 150 pounds, how much is the tension on the ropes? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write each force. So again, I'm gonna call this force A, I'm calling this force B, and you can call this gravity, or I'm gonna call it force C. We're trying to balance all three forces uh, on this rope, and we're gonna determine um, X force and Y force. So we're gonna start off with force A, the rope on the, on the left-hand side here. So for force A, we're gonna take the magnitude, the tension on the rope, and we are gonna multiply that by the vector. And so to find the X value, we're gonna do the cosine. To find the Y value, we're gonna use sine. Thoughts on the angle here. What do you say? Where did you get 175.8 from? She took 180 minus 4.2. Why did you do that? Yeah, it's, if we started at zero and worked that way, what is going to be, there's only going to be one difference between finding this angle at 4.2 and at 175.8. And the only difference is your x value is going to be negative. The x values are going to be exactly the same values, but it's going to be negative because it's pulling to the left. That is why we're using 175.8. I had a student in my last class that's in physics, and he really wanted to use 4.2. And that's fine. He just needed to know that that 4.2 needed to be a negative number at some point, or it needed to get you a negative value. That's f of a. Then we're going to find f of b. And so it's going to be whatever the tension on the rope is, cosine of 3.7, sine of 3.7. Those getting your, your x and y values of your vector. And then our third force is gravity. Our gravity force, we could write it out, but it's really easy. It's 1,500 pounds. What is the x component of that vector going to be? Zero. Gravity doesn't move you left and right. All it does is move you down, and so it's negative 150. There's my setup. Once I've done that, now I'm going to talk about the forces acting on the rope, acting on our guy here. There are two movements he could make. He could go to the left and right, so his force for the x value, and his force on the y value, moving him up and down. Both of them need to get him zero. So to find his force on the x value, he is taking all of his x values here, and we're going to add them together. And we do need to multiply by whatever our tension is. And so the first one is going to look like this. A cosine of 175.8 degrees. And if I add that to B cosine of 3.7 degrees, and I add that to 0, when I add all of those forces, the thing that's moving me to the left and the thing that's moving me to the right, and I add them together, what's it need to get me? Zero. He's in static equilibrium. He's not moving. Same thing for our Y force. Our Y force, we're taking all the Y values here. So we're taking this guy. We're taking this guy. We're taking this guy. We're adding them all together, multiplying by our, our factor there. So it's A sine 175.8. plus B sine of 3.7 degrees minus 150 is going to be all equal to zero. All of three of those forces, one of them is negative. Two of them are pulling them up. The other one's pushing them down. All of those together need to get a zero. It is now just a solving question. It's not a, your favorite solving question, but it's solving. You have two equations. You have two variables, elimination, substitution. So you can set this up however you want. I'm going to go fairly quick here and work this way through it. So I'm going to take this equation right here and solve. A cosine 175.8 is going to be equal to a negative B cosine of 3.7. So in my calculator, making sure my calculator is in degrees, I'm taking negative cosine 
and dividing by cosine of 175.8. I type that in, I hit enter, I get that number right there, 1.0006. So A is going to be equal to 1.0006B. I don't want to round it. I'm not to the end of my answer here, so I'm not going to round it. And so if you remember, we've done this in the past, I'm going to save that answer as the letter B. And so if you remember, we have this store button right here. I use that store button. I'm going to save it as the letter B because that's the coefficient that goes with B. Now, anytime I hit the letter B, it's going to come up. I found that. Now, I'm going to take this answer, and I'm going to plug that in to A in this other problem. So, now my paper is going to look like this, 1.0006B times sine of 175.8 plus B sine of 3.7 is going to be equal to positive 150 when I move it across. So I'm taking that number times sine of 175.8. I'm going to add to that sine of 3.7. It gets me that thing right there, 0.138. That's what I just combined these two things. So B is equal to 150. I'm going to divide by 0.138 and get my final answer here. So 150 divided by that number up there. I'm going to go up there and hit it. Hit enter. 1,088.418 pounds. That's how much rope, or that's how much tension is on the B force. So that's this one over here. If I want to find A, all I'm doing is plugging it back in here. And so I'm going to take that number that I just got and multiply it by that 1.006 number. So I'm going to go alpha B and get me my final answer. That's how much tension is on force A, 1,089.074. A little bit of a quick plug in there at the end, but it's the setup that matters. Once you've done the setup, then it's just elimination and using your math skills that you're good at.